Hi, Stephen here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video we're going to be doing a Zinza All Coat review. Now this is Zinza's water-based multi-surface paint and the surfaces it covers first of all it says exterior satin can you see it on there let me just see it it says Zinza Orco exterior satin but it does do interior as well now the surfaces that it goes on I'll just read you through these quickly are bare timber previously painted timber plywood glossy paint varnish concrete brick asbestos bitumen galvanized metal aluminium copper lead ferrous metals upvc fiberglass powder coatings plastisol and interior it says drywall covering plaster concrete new wood trim doors plywood brick fiberglass grp galvanized new or old aluminium stainless steel ceramics glossy paints panelling laminates and formica now what i'm interested in is it going on um glossy surfaces like so we've got i'll just bring this door into play we've got this we've got this glossed door here now it also says that it can go over unsanded glossy surfaces so what i'm going to do is sand all of it except for the middle panel i'm just going to dust off and wipe the middle panel and then see um how it performs but to be honest I have used it before and I used it once and it is really good I also did some um, UPVC I did like a test on a frame that I've got in the back garden and after leaving it for the 30 days I tried pushing my nail into it and I couldn't move it I know there's probably other multi-surface paints out there that are better but this was quite good right so it's got a recoat time of an hour but that's all sort of depending on i reckon temperature and humidity and stuff like that so if it's like really cold don't apply it but if it's sort of how it is now inside it's not like freezing but it is like sort of cold and i think it'll take a bit more so i will be putting the heating on um what else can i say you wouldn't apply it sort of in the winter outside anyway I mean, I don't think it would, this won't cover sort of damp patches and water stains. You would still need to use the Zinza BIN or if you had like knotty wood, I would advise that you um, knot the wood first before using this. Another thing is, is I'm not sure, would you, if you was going over bare wood, would you put a tiny bit of water in it? I'm not too sure whether you would or not, so let me know if, if you was going over bare wood, would you drop a little bit of water in this first, just to help it soak into the wood. I mean, it is a multi-surface paint, and it says no primer needed, but how good is it that you can buy one tin of paint, and it does your priming, undercoat, and top coat? I mean, I would stress that if you was using bare wood, I would give it the three coats. But I am interested to see now how this is grey. This is like um, the anthra anthracite grey. So and this is going over the black. So, right, so like I said, what I'm going to do first is sand down. Right, this is right, just to let you know, this isn't a how to paint a door tutorial again. This door is going to be obsolete in the next sort of year and a half. This is going to become. A toilet is this area because we're having like a we're going to build an extension um so all this is getting knocked out so i thought it would just be the perfect time to have a little play around on the doors right so like i say i'm going to sand all all of all of it except for the middle panel 
and then sort of in 30 days time we do like a little scratch test to see how well the unsanded area performed. I mean as time goes by we will do it on sort of UPVC, we will show it going over bare wood. Um, but for now we can't do all of those but for now we can do it and see how it goes over glossy surfaces because let's be honest a lot of people like a DIYer will just want to get a paint that they can sort of put on and if it performs well and all you've got to do is dust it off and wipe it without giving it a sand well why not <laughs> but I would say I do like to sand down I'd like to think I'd like to do a good bit of prep all right but if you needed a speed job and that's what you were doing and you weren't getting paid to do that and they said right just like bosh it out could this be the answer right we'll see right if you want to purchase some of the similar products that I'm using in this video like a paint kettle synthetic paint brush you can get them in a set dust brush and some 80 grit sandpaper the links will be in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating works please feel free to visit my tool store the links are also in the description below right let's get this sanded I've got to be careful not to sand the centre panel because we instinct will be to sand it I think it's time to speed it up. So I think that's had a, a good key up. Now, like I said, we haven't done this centre panel, so what we're going to do now is dust it down. Right, I'm going to give it all a wipe down. Look, I don't always wipe down everything once I've sanded it. I generally just give it a good dust off, but because I'm going to wipe this panel down, I'll just give the full door a quick wipe down. Look, I don't try to be perfect because perfect doesn't exist. I just try to do a good job, you know. All the time you're trying to chase perfection, it just slows down progress. Doing a good job is okay, you know what I mean? I remember the days when I used to just try and do everything so right, but it never really looked any different at the end of the day, you know. Once people moved their furniture in and stuff like that, that bit that you thought you could have done a bit better was covered. You know, so always remember, just do your best and it's progress, not perfection. Right, so I think I'm now going to let that dry and have a cup of tea. See you soon. I'm giving it a good old stir. And this is thick, look. Wow, that just absolute slides on there. Look at that. And I'm hoping you can see this here. Look 
That is so easy to use and it goes on absolutely beautiful. And it looks like it will cover in a second coat. I mean, maybe if you're putting a lighter colour over a darker coat, then it would probably require additional coats, but wow. Right now, this is over the non-sanded area, the non-sanded panel. I mean, it's going on the same, but this has no key whatsoever. But we're not going to know the outcome for about 30 days anyway, so... I mean, when it's dry, I'll show you what it's. I mean, I'm just trying to make sure I don't cover the blooming the 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 cap. I'm just trying to make sure I don't cover what I'm doing. I just remembered I've got my slippers on, but I am at home. So we just lay it off again. And laying off, you're just running the tips of your brush, a dry brush, over your paint. To think you can get a paint that's all in one is just incredible and water based. Yeah, that was one brush full that time. One brush full. I wonder how well it goes over itself, you know, so how well the second coat goes over. Because I know on um, some paints it just can drag slightly and the, the, the brush wall doesn't go quite as far. fast about that We're just going to have multi-coloured doors, different coloured doors, like grey and black for the next few months, but it's worth it to, to show you guys, seize the opportunity while it's there. Look at that though. 
look crazy. I mean, you don't want to be using it in direct sunlight, though. Like, you want to probably sort of pick your moments of the day. You know, like, maybe if it's, like, really hot outside, try and, try and get out a little bit earlier and get it done when, it, when it's a bit cooler. So that is it first coated. Now, I'm going to now drink my cup of tea that I've made. And then come back in a couple of hours and hopefully I'll show you what it looks like um, dry after the first coat and then we'll second coat it. Right, before I give it its second coat, just let me show you the, the coverage. I mean, when, I know it's grey going over black, so you know, you use grey undercoat, um, you, you, you use a dark grey undercoat and put a black gloss on top and I know that grey covering over the black should have good coverage but this is a, like a water based paint you know and this has covered really well I'm not saying that if you had a white over black it wouldn't require more coats it probably would but in this specific situation I can't moan without that grey is covered I'm pretty much I might regret this at the end of this video but 100% certain this is going to cover in two coats or 98% certain right let me just give you a close up at it right what I'll do now is second coat this then I'll do a summary at an end so this will be speeding up But this does slide over itself absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that. And the brush fall seems to be going quite far on its second coat. So what I do is lay it off, then speed it up. Now there's no pull whatsoever. Right, when that's dry, I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished, but as of now, it looks like it's covered absolute amazing. Right, what we'll do is, is I'll show you it when it's dry, and then I'll do a little summary. If you want to watch some more reviews on Johnson's AquaGuard and um, Johnson's Waterbase Aqua Gloss, they will pop up at the end of this video on an end screen. This is what it looks like after it's two coats and it's nice and dry. Right then, to sum this zins are all coat up. Right, I'm yet to know what it will perform like over an unsanded glossy surface because we do like the testing 30 days or something. 
Um, it says it's recoatable after an hour, but I'd say that's down to your temperature, do you know what I mean? Like, so the, the colder it is, the longer it's going to take to dry. It won't cover like damp patches and go over knots because the knots will still bleed through. So you either want to go over knotted wood with some um, Zinza BIN or you want to put some knotting solution on or you want to go over your water stains with Zinza BIN before putting this on because this isn't a stain blocker but it is a really good multi-surface paint. It's kind of incredible that you can get one tin of paint that does all you know times are moving forward and changing and stuff like this is starting to change my mind of how i'm gonna start doing my jobs in the future because if you can have one tin of paint that does all why would you need any more i'm sure that if a, a say like a white was painted over black it, it would require more coats but it would require more coats no no matter what sort of type of white paint was going over if it was an oil base you'd probably need to give it two undercoats and two top coats anyway but yeah i am impressed with how all this technology is going it was really easy to use and going over itself so when i applied the second coat it just literally slid over itself it, it was it was quite amazing really to think that a one tin of paint like i say again can do all that so anyway that's it from me don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much for watching take care